And so in the jungle, that's what we do. We talk about all of the different animals in the jungle and how each animal has to learn how to communicate with the other. Now, in this jungle, there's only four animals, say four. Only four animals. There's a lion, a flamingo, a turtle, and a chameleon. There's only four animals in my jungle, just four. And so all you have to do is learn how each of these animals communicate with one another. Now, the way that we do that is, the very first thing we do is you understand yourself, say understand me. Understand me. You understand others, say understand them. understand them. So you can communicate effectively and don't get a divorce. I'm going to show you these animals and I want you to, I'm gonna ask you to give me some different characteristics of each animal, right? Here we go. So look, a lion is very dominant very driving, a demanding, a doer, lions execute. They're aggressive, they're pushers. So flamingos, they're interested in people, right? They're very influencing, impressionable, interactive. They, I'm gonna just say it like this, they love to run their mouth. You love to talk, they, see, boom, come on, right over here. Come on, that chameleon is very supportive, kind of status quo, shy, laid back, but stable. Turtles, you're very cautious, very calculating, you're very conscientious, you careful. Let me say it like this, attention to detail. You love the numbers. When somebody says, let's do something, you say, why? It was very eye-opening. I'm actually gonna look online now and see what kind of books he has. I would watch his presentation over and over and over again. It was very involved. Audience participation, I think he's a dynamic presenter. Everybody on my team, I know everybody's animal. So at your job, your supervisor, your manager, your team lead is getting on your doggone nerves for something they're doing or something they're not doing. And you ticked off with them. But it's because you gotta identify their animal and you gotta know how to communicate with them. Superman and Wonder Woman, they had all these different superpowers, but they didn't use the superpowers all at one time. De it, depending on whatever foe, criminal or whatever obstacle, challenge or opportunity was in front of them, they pick and chose what superpower they needed to use. And y'all got two animals in you that are super, and then you got your other two that are secret super. And what I do is, because I know my animals, I can jump into super or secret super as I need to. You just gotta know what your animal is and then know other people understand yourself. So you can understand others so that you can adapt, adjust, and communicate effectively.